picture bustling factories and construction sites. Amidst this progress, invisible forces like volatile organic compounds, VOCs, are at play. These gaseous compounds, found in fuels, solvents and chemicals, are crucial yet pose significant health and environmental risks. Our mission, detect and monitor these compounds to ensure a safe working environment. BTEX compounds, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene and xylene are particularly toxic. Found in petroleum products and industrial solvents, exposure to BTEX can cause serious health issues. Understanding and detecting these compounds helps minimize exposure and protect health. VOCs are everywhere, evaporating from liquids or solids, especially at room temperature. While essential in many products, some VOCs pose health risks. Knowing the types and sources of VOCs helps us make informed decisions to minimize exposure. BTEX compounds, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, and xylene are notorious for their health risks. Benzene is a carcinogen, toluene affects the nervous system, ethyl benzene can irritate, and xylene impacts the heart and lungs. Understanding these compounds helps us take precautions to protect ourselves. We use the photoionization detector, PID. This tool provides real-time data on VOCs in the air. Understanding how a PID works is crucial for effective VOC detection. The UV lamp in a PID drives the detection process through ionization. UV light collides with VOC molecules, creating ions that signal VOC presence. The sensor collects these ions, generating a current that indicates VOC levels. The PID amplifies the electrical current from ions, providing measurable VOC concentrations. It gives precise readings in parts per million or billion, helping assess risks. Choosing the right PID and understanding its limitations are key for accurate monitoring. The UV lamp in a PID is crucial for ionization, with different lamps emitting various energy levels. Matching the lamp's energy to the VOCs is essential for effective detection. Most PIDs offer interchangeable lamps, allowing customization for specific tasks. Choosing a UV lamp involves finding the right energy level for the VOCs. The 10.6 EV lamp is versatile, while higher energy lamps detect more elusive VOCs. Consider your needs and budget to select the best lamp for accurate readings. Calibration ensures your PID provides accurate readings. Isobutylene is the standard for PID calibration, offering consistent responses. Regular calibration with known concentrations keeps your PID reliable. Correction factors adjust PID readings for specific VOCs. These factors ensure precise monitoring. Applying them is essential for accurate VOC detection. across industries where VOC monitoring matters. Now that we've got a handle on the how of VOC detection with PIDs, let's talk about the why. Why is this technology so crucial? And where does it make a real world difference? Well, folks, the answer is simple. VOC monitoring is essential in a whole range of industries, from the massive refineries churning out fuel to the construction sites building our future and even the meticulous labs conducting groundbreaking research. Take the petrochemical industry, for example. These folks deal with VOCs every single day, from the extraction and refining of crude oil to the storage and transportation of fuels and solvents. BTX compounds, in particular, are a major concern as they can be present in high concentrations throughout these processes. That's where PIDs come in, acting as vigilant watchdogs, monitoring for leaks, spills and unsafe exposure levels. Then there's the construction industry, 
where VOCs are released from common building materials like paints, adhesives, sealants and even carpets. These compounds can linger in the air long after the work is done, posing risks to both construction workers and future occupants. PID monitoring helps ensure proper ventilation, identifies potential hazards and safeguards the health of everyone involved. But it's not just heavy industries that rely on VOC detection. Laboratories handling volatile chemicals, manufacturing plants using solvents, even automotive repair shops, they all benefit from the insights provided by PIDs. By monitoring VOC levels, these industries can create safer working environments, comply with regulations and protect their most valuable asset, their people. Protecting our world, environmental applications. Now, let's shift our focus from the hustle and bustle of industrial settings to the great outdoors. Because VOCs, my friends, don't always stay confined to factories and construction sites. They can escape into the environment, polluting our air, water and soil, and even contributing to those pesky smog problems we hear about in big cities. That's where environmental monitoring steps in, and PIDs play a crucial role in this vital task. Imagine environmental scientists, armed with their trusty PIDs, venturing into the field to assess air quality near industrial sites, monitor VOC emissions from landfills, or track down the source of a mysterious chemical odour. PIDs are also essential tools in the fight against soil and groundwater contamination. They can help pinpoint the extent of a spill, track the movement of contaminants underground, and even assess the effectiveness of cleanup efforts. By providing real-time data on VOC concentrations, PIDs empower environmental professionals to make informed decisions and protect our precious natural resources. So, the next time you take a deep breath of fresh air, remember the unsung heroes of VOC monitoring, working tirelessly behind the scenes to keep our environment clean and safe for generations to come. They are the guardians of our air, water and soil, using science and technology to ensure a healthier planet for us all. Now, before you go thinking that PIDs are the be-all and end-all of VOC detection, let's have a little heart-to-heart -heart about their limitations, because even the most sophisticated tools have their quirks, and understanding these limitations is key to using PIDs effectively and interpreting their readings accurately. One of the biggest factors that can throw a wrench in the works is humidity, that ever-present moisture in the air we breathe. You see, PIDs rely on detecting those tiny charged particles called ions. And here's the thing about ions, they love water. They're attracted to it like moths to a flame. So, when the humidity is high, those ions can get a little distracted, making it harder for the PID to get an accurate reading. It's like trying to have a conversation in a crowded room with everyone talking at once. The PID is trying to listen for the VOCs, but the humidity is creating a lot of background noise, making it harder to pick out the signal. So, what's a VOC detective to do? Well, the good news is that many modern PIDs come equipped with humidity sensors and built-in correction factors. These clever features help compensate for the effects of humidity, ensuring that your readings are as accurate as possible, even in those steamy, tropical conditions or those damp underground tunnels. Beyond the PID's reach, now let's talk about another limitation of PIDs that's important to keep in mind. Not all gases are created equal when it comes to ionisation. Remember how we talked about those different UV lamps and their varying energy levels? Well, there are some gases out there that are like the invisible ninjas of the VOC world. They're practically immune to ionisation, even by the most powerful UV lamps. Methane, for example, is a common gas that often accompanies VOCs in industrial settings. But here's 
the catch. Methane has a very high ionization energy, meaning it takes a lot of energy to knock those electrons loose and create ions. Even the mighty 11.7 EV lamp, the heavy hitter of the UV world, struggles to ionize methane effectively. So what does that mean for us VOC detectives? It means that while PIDs are fantastic for detecting a wide range of VOCs, including those BTEX troublemakers, they might not be the best tool for every gas detection job. If you're dealing with gases like methane, you'll need to call in reinforcements, specialized gas detectors designed to sniff out those hard to detect compounds. The key takeaway here is to know your gases. Before you head out on a VOC hunt, do your research and understand the limitations of your PID. If you're unsure about the types of gases you might encounter, it's always best to err on the side of caution and consult with a qualified safety professional. They can help you choose the right tools for the job and ensure that you're equipped to handle whatever challenges come your way. The PID's best friends. All right, VOC warriors, we've covered a lot of ground from the ins and outs of PIDs to the quirks and personalities of different VOCs. Now, let's talk about how to keep your PID in tip-top shape, ensuring it's always ready to tackle those VOC challenges with accuracy and precision. Think of it like caring for a trusty sidekick. A little TLC goes a long way. First and foremost, regular calibration is non-negotiable. Remember that gold standard, isobotylene? Make it your PID's new best friend. Calibrate regularly, following the manufacturer's recommendations to ensure your readings are spot on. And don't forget those correction factors. They're like the secret handshake that unlocks accurate VOC identification. Next up, let's talk about those filters, the unsung heroes of PID maintenance. These little guys work tirelessly, filtering out dust, dirt, and other contaminants that can clog the sensor and mess with your readings. Check those filters regularly, give them a gentle cleaning or replace them as needed, and your PID will breathe a sigh of relief. And last but not least, show that UV lamp some love. Just like a car's headlights get dimmer over time, UV lamps gradually lose their intensity, affecting the PID's sensitivity. Regular cleaning with a soft, lint-free cloth can work wonders, removing any grime or buildup that might be dimming the light show. And when the time comes, don't hesitate to replace the lamp. It's a small investment for continued accuracy and peace of mind. Smart strategies for successful VOC detection. Now that we've got the basics of PID maintenance down, let's talk strategy. Because using a PID effectively is about more than just pointing and shooting. It's about understanding the environment, anticipating potential challenges, and employing some clever tactics to get the most out of your VOC detection efforts. First things first, know your surroundings. Before you even turn on your PID, take a moment to assess the environment. Are you in a confined space? Are there any potential sources of VOCs nearby? Is there adequate ventilation? By understanding the lay of the land, you can anticipate potential hazards and take appropriate precautions. Next, remember that VOCs are like heat. They rise. So, when you're taking readings, start low and work your way up, slowly moving the PID sensor through the area of concern. This will help you identify any stratification or pockets of high concentration. And don't be afraid to get up close and personal. Those nooks and crannies are often where VOCs like to hide. Finally, document everything. Keep detailed records of your readings, including the date, time, location, and any observations you make. This information can be invaluable for tracking trends, identifying potential problems, and demonstrating compliance with safety regulations. Remember, in the world of VOC detection, knowledge is power and accurate documentation is your key to success. Staying ahead of the VOC curve, and there you have it folks, the world of VOC detection demystified. 
we've journeyed from the bustling factories and construction sites to the laboratories and even the great outdoors, exploring the invisible world of volatile organic compounds and the tools we use to keep them in check. Remember, VOCs, especially those BTEX characters, are serious business. They're critical for countless industries, but they also demand our respect and vigilance. By understanding their properties, recognizing the potential risks, and using the right tools like our trusty PID, we can create safer working environments, protect our health, and safeguard the environment for generations to come. But it's not just about having the right gadgets. It's about using them effectively, following best practices, and staying ahead of the curve. Regular calibration, proper maintenance, and those all important correction factors. These are the secrets to unlocking the full potential of your PID and ensuring accurate, reliable VOC monitoring. So, go forth, VOC warriors, armed with knowledge, empowered by technology, and driven by a commitment to safety. Remember, it's not just about following the rules, it's about fostering a culture of awareness, where everyone understands the importance of VOC monitoring and takes proactive steps to minimize risks. Because when it comes to VOCs, knowledge is power and safety is a team effort.